Welcome everyone. As you know, at Baker Hughes, we take sustainability and ESG very seriously since we launched in 2019. And I'm pleased to be joined by Alison Book, our Chief Sustainability Officer, to really share with us some of the highlights from 2022. Alison, since we last spoke, I've been doing my bit for sustainability as well. And as I've been going to grocery stores, I'm using the paper bags as opposed to plastics. What have you been doing? Well, so I remain committed to my personal supply chain. And so this year, I really focused on keeping spend down, a one in, one out rule in the house. Something comes in, something has to go out. And then the last part is, is really shifting towards circularity in the objects that I buy. So, so that we're not contributing to more waste in the world. Well, I've seen a lot about the circular economy and that's something that definitely is becoming a theme of reusing recyclable plastics in everyday use. So that's terrific. But share with us some of the highlights from the 2022 report. Obviously, we've got our principles, people and planet. And how have we progressed? So this year we had some, some notable differences in, in versus prior years. And so I'll start with our sustainability strategy. We had been working on that for a fair bit of time. We had elements, but now we have a much more full-bodied representation of that in this year's report. That the next part I'd like to highlight is our, our commitment to doing the right thing always. And so we, we, we noted in prior years, we'd seen a sag in some of our performance and we turned that around this year. And I think that was a really excellent uh, progress in driving accountability across our whole employee base. So that, I, think, I think that was terrific progress. The last part is on people. For people, we spent a lot of time articulating our employee value proposition. People come first to take energy for it. And how's our Carbon Out initiative been going? So that's been a really bright star for the company. And you can see that if you flip through the report, we were at about a 28% top line operational emissions reduction. This is right on track. Uh, you know, we have the interim goal of 20, 2050 is the long-term goal. 2030, we need to get to 50% reduction. We're almost at 30% now, and we've got still half a decade in front of us. So that progress is excellent, but we can't let up. And the employee activism in this area around the company was really great. You can see a lot of those stories play out in our report this year. That's great to hear that we're on track for the 2030 and also for 2050. And it's great to see that we're also doing a lot with our customers. And as we look at the customer partnerships we have, we're helping them reduce their emissions through upgrades, through efficiencies, through digital applications, and really working in partnership with them. So Alison, I really want to thank you a lot great work in 2022, much more to do in 2023 as we continue uh, go, uh, to get to our targets. And for those of you listening, if you get a chance, please feel free, go and see the Baker Hughes 2022 Sustainability Report. Thank you.